Hello and welcome. So there's a Q&A on the combat beta and I came up to like, I tried to summarize it all into like 10, no, I tried to summarize it in under a minute, then it came out to 5 minutes, I lowered it to 3, then uh, this is what it came out to be. So I know there was a lot of information in this video, so I'll just go over the main points you want to um, remember. Summoning gets its own evolution of summoning. Scaling with action bar is intentional. If a monster is weak to earth spell, it's generally weak to magic. I talked about negative effects of trying to mage in melee armor. This applies to all armor. Protection prayer will only offer a 50% damage reduction everywhere, PVM and PvP. Soul split and turmoil has been reduced, but it's still some it's still useful to have. Quest specific rewards will be possibly given passive abilities to make it still useful. Royal crossbow will no longer have a bleed or lock on effect, but it has the stats of it beefed up. Corp has been made challenging on purpose, but the prayer drain attacks have been lowered since. Weapon poison is now something you drink to add poison damage to your attacks. Overload will no longer deal damage when overloading. 10 minion kills for god wars might not be here to stay, but if we rant about it, then maybe we get to keep it. Glacor boots are still better than Nex boots, so yay, Glacors are still good. Try to do the fight killing before the combat beta, because you have to learn a whole new combat system to do it. Now these last ideas are just ideas. They're not official ideas that has been presented and approved, so it's just some ideas that the mods have been thinking of. So Mod Crystal has been thinking of a single combat wilderness world. It seems that they want multi to stay, but it's still nice to have a choice. He also was thinking about a 100 plus resource dungeon. You would have to pay X amount of tokens to get in. It would be a one-off cost. And there will be monsters in there possibly dropping offhand items. Monterey had an idea for a money packed version for runes and summoning charms. So yay, less space needed for charms. And well, I'm not sure how runes would work unless you can't use it in the wilderness since you need runes. Although in the combat beta, runes do not actually cost that much for spells. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.